Hi, let me show you some code. The old var directive. Before ECMAScript 2015, variables may be declared with the var directive. Unfortunately, the scope of a variable declared with var can surprise you. Within a function, the scope of a variable declared with var is the entire function body even if the var directive is deeply embedded within curly brackets. With the var directive, to know if a variable is local or global requires to scan the entire body of a function and check whether there is an associated var directive or not. Let's look for instance to the f1 function. Looking at the third line, one may think that since L2 is not L1, then L2 is not local. So therefore L2 should be global. But no, this is wrong. Because here at this line there is a var L2. So this L2 is a local variable. And the scope of L2 is not this section of code. It's the entire section of code here. The for loop introduces a var L4 variable, but the scope of L4 is not the body of a loop. It's once again the entire body of a function. That behavior may lead to errors. For instance, looking at the FNSA array, an array of closure which are built in this line and all this closure should return 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. In fact, in FNSA, all this function return 5. Do you see why? The reason is that there is only one i variable here and the five functions capture the same variable that I hear. And the last value of this variable is 5. So all these closures capture the same variable and the last vi value of that variable is 5. If you want to fix that, you can introduce an intermediate function. For instance, in FNSB, you introduce the function binding ii to the last value of i then the closure here capture that variable and everything is OK. With ECMAScript 2015, you can directly use the let directive, as in FNSC, and at every iteration, a new binding with i and its value is created and that binding is closed by the closure here. So everything is OK.